Hello, um, everyone in ILP Grade 5. Welcome to the start of the new year. I um, hope you're all well. Um, my name is Teacher Patrick, for those of you who do not know who I am. Um, so, unfortunately, you cannot come back to school for a few more weeks because of the COVID situation. So, I will be teaching you um, online. Um, so we will um, have to do a few weeks on the computer at home um, before you can come back to school and um, so yeah hello everyone so um, today we are going to talk about how to introduce yourself um, and talk about the kind of questions and answers that you get, we will give when you're introducing yourself. So, we need to introduce ourselves when we want to make new friends, uh, when we want to talk to people. So, we need to um, find out um, things like about your name and your age, and what you like to do in your free time, and what are your favorite activities. So, we will be doing um, about this in the next few lessons and then we will go into um, the book and um, maybe next week so the first thing we need to know is um, so if you look at the first slide how to ask your name so the very first question a person who introduces themselves is hello so you'll say hello and you will go what is your name so everyone knows how to say what is your name fairly simple so you just say what is your name how to answer to what is your name you go hello my name is dot 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 so as you remember I said a minute ago my name is Patrick and how to spell Patrick it is here you have P A T R I C K Patrick so again P A T R I C K Patrick so everyone can say Patrick so this guy here is from Spongebob Squarepants his name is Patrick as well so if you know anyone who watches Spongebob Squarepants will know the name um, so again what is your name my name is whatever your name is so we have four people here kids um, so we have Mikhail we have Alex, we have David, and we have Joshua. So again, Mikael, Alex, David, and Joshua. So when you are talking to these people and you don't know their name, you will say, what is your name? My name is Mikael. What is your name, Alex? My name is Alex. What is your name? David will say, My name is David. Joshua, what is your name? Joshua will say, My name is Joshua. So you have here again, Hello, my name is... So if you're a boy, you write your boy name. And then this is a girl. Hello, my name is. So that is how to say what is your name. So then we'll go on to the next one, which is talking about your age. How old are you? How old are you? So we have the two girls on the slide or the swing here. How old are you? I am eight years old. 
How old are you? I am eight years old. So you have the number here. So I am one years. I am two years. I am three. I am four. I am five. Up to uh, I, fifty, sixty, seventy. So is it your? Um, asking about your age. So you can see here, this monster here, he does not know how old he is. So if you look at the, it is his birthday, so you can see the candles on the cake. So you can count the candles. Is he nine years old, two years old, or five years old? So you will ask him, how old are you? And he will say, I am five years old. See, I am five years old. So that is how to um, answer to how old are you? I am dot 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 years old. So number three. Next, your family. What about your family? Who is in your family? So you have me, so that's you. You have me, are you? And you have your mom and your dad, and you have a brother and a sister, and then you have maybe you have a grandmother or a grandfather. Um, your grandmother is your mom or dad's mother and your grandfather is your mom or dad's father so usually they would be pretty old people um, so that's the grandmother and the grandfather would be pretty old and you are young um, so again the grandmother would be mom or dad's mother and your grandfather would be your mom or dad's father so you can have a total of two grandmothers and two grandfathers usually um so that is your family so think about how many people are in your family um who's in your family um so then you talk about your family how many are in your family? So you might have a big family or you might have a small family. Um, so you can see here this family is pretty big. There is mom and dad. There is um, the grandmother and the grandfather. Um, there is the brothers and there is the sisters. So there is a big family. Um, so you can see, um, there is two grandpair, two grandfathers, two grandmothers, a mom and a dad, and two boys and a girl. So how to ask about your family. So how many people are in your family? So if you have, I have one brother. I have two brothers, I have one sister, I have two sisters, or you could have three sisters or four sisters. Um, you could have what, so whatever number is in yours. Or maybe you don't have any brothers and sisters. So you will say, I don't have any brothers or I don't have any sisters. Um, um, yeah, so that is how to ask about your family. So that is your family. Um, then we have where do you live? So you have loads of places where you can live. You can live in a cottage, which is a little house in the forest, um, or in the yeah in the forest. So like um, in the fairy tales, like Hansel and Gretel, um, or Red Riding Hood live in a cottage you can live in a farmhouse which is a farm in the countryside a farmer lots of farm animals like cats and sheep and pigs and cows and goats and ducks so you can live in a farmhouse 
I live in a bungalow. A bungalow is a house that has only one floor. No upstairs, no downstairs, only one floor. So I live in a bungalow. I live in a terraced house, which is a house in the city right beside each other. So you have no space in between the house. I live in a townhouse. A townhouse is a house in the town with two houses beside each other. I live in a house, so you might live in a normal house as a house with a more than one floor. So it's upstairs, you can see upstairs here. I live in a mansion. Um, a mansion is a very, very, very big house. Maybe you have like 10, 15 rooms, maybe five or six bathrooms, maybe two kitchens. So a very, very, very big house. Um, I live in a penthouse or a condo. So a penthouse is the very, very top floor in a condo, the biggest, um, biggest room. Um, have the best view for looking at the city and that skyscraper is the name of the building so I live in a skyscraper live in a condo you can also live in other places like some people live in tents some people live in a boat um, some people live in a castle like the king and the queen um, so there is loads and loads of places where you can live so these are some of the, and some people even live in a hotel so you can live in um places where you live so where do you live i live in a dot 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 so name here are some of the examples and then but sometimes you might be asked where do you live and they want to know what country and what city you live in so i live in name of the city which is Bangkok and the name of the country which is Thailand so I live in Bangkok Thailand um, but some people might not live in Bangkok maybe some people live in another city in Thailand maybe live in Ayutthaya or live in Chiang Mai or Pattaya or Phuket um, or loads of other places you can live in maybe some people don't even live in Thailand they might live in Japan or they live in um, China or they live in Vietnam so where do you live so you live in I live in the name of the city and the name of the country so again I live in Bangkok Thailand I live in uh, Chiang Mai, Thailand. I live in Beijing, China. I live in um, Ho Chi Minh, Vietnam. So up to wherever you live, this is how the format for the question. So that is where do you live? Um, what do you like to do in your free time? So I like to plus the verb one. So the verb one is the base form of the verb so I like to play play football I like to read books I like to listen to music you can also have other verbs like I like to surf the internet which is to look at the computer look at Google look at Instagram surf the internet I like to go cycling I like to go to the cinema I like jogging which is running I like football skateboarding swimming i like to go camping i like fishing I like go to a go to a party go to a picnic i like to play the guitar shopping taking photographs so taking photos i like to watch watch tv so these are some of the free time activities that you can do in your free time now free time is when you are not studying so on this YouTube video which I will send to you you can go and look at the video there will be all loads of free time activities you can go through free time activities look at the pictures pronounce after the words I like to dot 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 so I like to with the verb and the activity 
So that is what you like to do in your free time. I think loads of people like to play games in their free time, um, which is a good um, activity to have and um, get exercise, not study all the time. Um, so that is your free time. And then these are some videos on how to introduce yourself and explain more in detail. So if you look at these videos, again, they will be sent to you will go through what I have said in the last 15 minutes or so. It will go through how to say what is your name and how to answer, how old are you, where do you live, what do you like to do in your free time, talk about any activities um, and more. So there's three videos I would like you to watch practice with your family if you can try and talk in English so you can be more confident about what you are saying and how to introduce yourself to people new people and how to make friends so in the next lesson we will continue about introductions we will talk about your um, favorite and um, go through all about the favorite stuff that you you know go through all loads of vocabulary that you will need to know um so I hope you enjoyed this lesson and um I will see you again in the next one so um I'll say goodbye and I'll see you again <laughs>